Hello guys and welcome to the Counterfactual Stories YouTube channel. Today we will talk about Rutherford B. Heiss. Uh, but before we start, as always, don't forget to press subscribe button. Rutherford B. Heiss, born in 1822 and died in 1893, was also, as many before him, known chess player. His mother taught him and his sister Fanny how to play chess. Heiss mentioned in his diary that Fanny was a skillful player. Heiss wrote of chess in his diaries and letters. So we will now uh, uh, read a little uh, about the chess from his diaries. So his sister Fanny, May 13, 1839. I do not doubt that HP uh, can beat me at chess. I have played but once since I wrote to you before. Playing ball is all the fashion here now and it's a presume that I can beat you at that if not at chess. Then uh, to his sister Fanny, steamer Moro Castle, Mississippi River near Cairo, uh, December 16, 1848 describing his time spent on a boat. A gentleman who plays chess just well enough to make it hard work for me to beat him, which I do twice out of three times. Then Wednesday, January the 3rd. Fine weather, spent at home, writing letters, pistol firing and playing chess. Then January the 2nd, 1849. Start on a visit to the Mrs. Lewis, but learn that they are absent from home. Weather fine. Return and afternoon take a ramble with Henry after deer. So seven also a wild hog. Had two shots at too great a distance to do hurt. So goes rope, a wild cow, exciting and somewhat perilous. In the eyes of the uninitiated, home a dark and her chest with Henry until a late hour. Then December 23, 1846. The old year is vanishing, the new drawing on. My partner has gone to Columbus, and several days past I have spent alone. There is but little office business at this season of the year, and the days and long winter evening pass slowly, almost too slowly. I read some law, some poetry. Uh, he read Shakespeare. I assume, and play chess occasionally. Somehow my faculties are so dull that nothing but chess seems to excite the attention enough to arouse them at all. It surprised me when I think of it, what a world of time and brains are wasted in ideal daydreams, castle building, vision of happiness to raptors for reality. Am I in love that it grows on me, or is the habits writing unchecked? Then from his boyhood. When very young, she was taught to ride, play chess and shoot with a rifle. All thought she was always a retiring, quiet, modest little girl. Uh, even so, as to be a favorite with those whose sense of property swallows up every other virtue, yet in many manly sports she was perfectly fearless and very successful. She rode gracefully and was the best rifle shot of any lady I ever knew. She was a skillful player at chess and indeed of many other games. Then to his uncle, May 22, 1850. Remember me to Mr. Lincoln, I should like to see him here. I could show him some of the prettiest girls above ground. It's not that indictment enough to bring him here. Tell please that one of the Hungarian refugees who was here could beat Dr. Schmidt and the best chess players here and throw off a castle. It satisfied me that I never had seen anyone who knew the alphabet of the game before. Then to his mother on January 27, 1849, writing about his trip to Gulf Pearl, Texas, uh, Guy, Eliza and myself visit the young ladies when it's pleasant weather and read, play chess and games when it rains. In William Howard's sketch of life, of the life and character of Rutherford B. Hines, an old college friend reminiscence about Heinz. Heinz was the champion in college in the bad class section and it in the footpath, cheerful, sanguine and confident in the future. Never seeing cause for the uh, disposing was a young man of substantial physics and my whole acquaintance. I never knew of his being sick one day and so free from any weakness as to seem indefatigable. His greatest amusements were fishing and chess. 
I hope that you liked this episode. Don't forget to press subscribe button and see you soon. Bye.